What's up everyone? In this one, we're going to be installing TensorFlow 2.4.1 with GPU support for Ubuntu 20.04. Let's get into it. Now I know I've made this video about a hundred times, but I still get a lot of questions on the older install videos, people asking how to install for the latest version of TensorFlow. So I figured it'd be good to revisit and make a new version of it. And to make things easier, I've gone ahead and put all the instructions that we're gonna be using into this GitHub pages site. And I'll add a link in the description. So if you don't wanna watch the video, you can just follow along there. Now, in order to install TensorFlow GPU, we're going to need a GPU. It needs to be an NVIDIA GPU, and it needs to be relatively modern. I've got a GTX 1070. Anything newer than that is fine, and even the 900 series should be fine. And the newer the better, the more memory the better. I know it's like really hard to get one of the newer ones lately, but... Yeah, just make sure you've got one that will work. You can check the NVIDIA and I believe the TensorFlow website for a list of GPUs that will work. So step one is gonna to be to update our graphics driver. And the one we're gonna use is this PPA one. Supposedly it's the best one out of the bunch. So we're gonna use that one. And all we have to do is just follow these commands to install. So just pop open a terminal. We'll do sudo add app the repository hit enter and there we go now we just need to install the driver so I'll go ahead and paste this command here and even though you see it says 440 it's actually gonna install 450 this is gonna well this command will install the latest one so I'll go ahead and run that let it go for a while and then we'll pick back up once this is done I'll probably just fast forward through all this All right, last step is to reboot. And once we're back, we're gonna check to make sure our graphics driver is installed. All right, we're back. So to check that the graphics driver is installed, we just need to run this command and it should confirm that it is there. So I'll copy that. Let's pull open the terminal. And here you can see we do have version 450.119. So graphics driver done. All right, step two is to install the CUDA toolkit. And we want to install version 11.0. If you check the TensorFlow docs, you'll see it says uh, toolkit 11. So I've checked it or installed it with 11.0 and that one works. So what we do, I have links in my pages, but let's just go ahead and follow this link here just so I can show you. And then you wanna grab this one, 11.0, May 2020. So click here, we're gonna do Linux, x86-64, Ubuntu, 20.04, and then I go with the deb local. And basically, we're just gonna be using or just running these commands in a terminal. So I'll go ahead and pull open a terminal and, well actually first, let's copy this command here and run that one. Next, this one to move move some file to some app preferences folder. So run that. Next one is to actually download the toolkit. And the toolkit is pretty big. It's like 2.4 gigabytes. So this command is gonna take a while. I'll go ahead and speed up the video so you don't have to watch this whole thing download. Cool, that's done. All right, next step is this, um, yeah, this is the step to install the package. So again, let's copy that one in, run it. Cool. Next is this one to add some key. And actually the output from the last command tells you to do that, so, oops. So, yep, that one worked. And the last thing is to update and install CUDA. So let's do that. sudo apt 
update and sudo apt install CUDA. Hit yes. And it's done. We've got the toolkit installed. All right, let's move on to the next step, which is to install the QDNN 8.0.4. So this is an older version and we need to download from the QDNN archives. I've got a link here, but let me just jump over to the TensorFlow page and we'll follow this link here. And uh, note this QPTI, you don't need to install this. You can see it ships with the CUDA toolkit. So let's click this link here. And you actually have to have an account, but it's free to create an account. Just give it a you know, username, email, and sign up. Then follow this link to download QDNN. Click to agree, and then follow this archive QDNN releases. So now we need to find 8.0.4 for CUDA 11.0. So it's this one right here. Then we just want this QDNN library for Linux. And just save the file. Okay, now that it's done downloading, I'm gonna jump back over to the instructions and we just need to run these commands to unzip, copy some files and change the mode to readable for them. So pull up my terminal. Actually first, let's copy this command. Pull up the terminal paste it in. This will unzip it into a folder called CUDA. While that's going, just get this command to copy. All right, that's done. Copy the header file. That one was quick. And then here we're going to copy a whole bunch of, these are like shared objects. Um, it's kind of the code that's going to be doing all the work when we, you know, use TensorFlow. So let's copy all those over. And lastly, we'll run this chmod to change all those shared objects to readable for all users. Cool, and we're done. Next, we need to add these paths to our either our bash RC if you're using bash or for me, I'm using um, ZSH. So let's go back to our terminal and um, I just need to move back here and then I'm just going to use vim to edit it. So vim dot um, zshrc and let's come all the way down to the bottom and let's see, let's copy these, these two lines here. Cool. All right, go ahead and save that. And then we just need to source the our, either our bash RC or Z, ZSH RC. Um, so just call source um, dot, in my case, ZSH RC. And that way the, the paths are updated. So at this point, we're done installing all the CUDA stuff and we can jump into installing TensorFlow. And the way I'm going to do it is well, I'm going to be creating a virtual environment that we install to. Um, and this is, for me, this is basically a fresh install of Ubuntu. So I need to do a few things. Um, and I did this just so if you're also coming from a fresh install, you might also be in this situation. So I need to install pip. Um, so let's go ahead and install that with apt. So just, you know, apt install Python three pip. You might already have this installed or you might be using Anaconda, but yeah. So we've got pip and then I'm going to be using virtual env. Um, if you're using Anaconda, you've got this built in and you can just use conda environments, but I'm using, I don't know. I started using this. I like it. It's a little more, I do think the Anaconda one is a little more user friendly, but I've kind of stopped using Anaconda. So, this is how I do it. So we need to install virtual env, virtual env with um, apt. So go ahead and run that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called TensorFlow, and then I'll create the environment in there. And the environment is just going to be called um, VNV. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll 
Well, actually, I'm going to move into, I put everything in a projects folder. And then we'll do make dir TensorFlow. Let's move into that folder. And then let's run this command, python3-m vnv vnv. /vnv. All right, so now we've got our environment created. Let's go ahead and activate it. So we do source vnv bin activate. And then you know it's activated because you've got that little vnv on the side. So now at this point, we are ready to install TensorFlow with pip. And with 2.4 and on, you no longer need to do um, pip install tensorflow dash gpu there's just one command and i guess it knows if it can install the tensor if it can install the gpu version so let's go ahead run the pip command cool you might have noticed that i got some some red up here but i don't think it really matters um, because yeah, when I tested it, it still worked. So anyways, now it's time to test it. So we'll go ahead and start Python. And we're going to import TensorFlow as TF. And that looks good, we didn't get any errors. So next thing we wanna do is check if we have any GPU devices. So we'll go ahead and run this command here. We'll get a whole bunch of output, um, but at the end we should get this list right here that says that there's a device um, and it's a GPU. So if I run this again, it won't have all that output and you'll just get this list. And that's it. Thanks everyone for watching and good luck with your install. And like I said, I've created these instructions and then there'll be a link in the description. So if you don't wanna watch, the whole video you can just refer to these and make sure to follow them step by step um, one thing i've noticed is that when you're installing the toolkit if you accidentally install the wrong one you need to go into your i believe it's your apt preferences or your apt config and um, remove the other package reference because it'll get confused when you're trying to install cuda if there's two of them in there but Anyways, yeah, just follow the instructions. You should be good. If you've got questions, leave them below. I'll try and answer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.